Hey guys, what is going on? It is Cruz Avi here and I welcome each and every one of you to a brand new tutorial video for our channel, The Guide. Before we get into today's topic, I want to quickly remind you of our coaching website. If you like our content here on YouTube, then maybe a private coaching with elite top 100 and pro players might be something for you. If you're interested in that, then just go into the description down below and check out the link to our coaching website. You will find all further information about the FIFA coaching there and with that out of the way let's get into today's video because we have another spicy topic coming your way today we're going to talk about one touch passes another passing technique video that once again shows you a very simple but extremely effective tool that can up your passing game by a lot so without further ado let's take a look at the one touch passes So let's take a look on how to play a one-touch pass. The difference between a normal pass and the one-touch is that you have to buffer the input for the pass. So you have to press the passing button a few meters before your player receives the ball and then the input for the pass will be buffered and your player will play it with his first ball contact without receiving the ball first. Other than that, it's a completely normal pass. With the left stick, you should aim towards the player that you want the ball to go to while pressing the passing button. And you also have to power up the pass properly. So if you want to play it over a shorter distance, only make a short input. If you want to play it over a longer distance, then make a long input. It's important to note that this not only works for normal passes but also for through balls so you can play one touch passes into open space which we will get to later as well. Now let's talk about the success rate of one touch passes and how to improve it. In general all the passing basics that we also made a video on already do apply so if you haven't seen that one yet definitely go check it out it's linked in the top right corner or in the description down below and when it comes to one touch passes it's very crucial that you have the teammate inside that you want to play the pass towards so your player needs to have a natural angle towards that player an open body position you could call it as well so that he can play the pass with only a slight turn and generally speaking that's about a 90 degree angle to each side of your player so a 180 degree half circle in front of the player who plays the pass and if the receiver is inside that circle then it should be possible for you to play the pass with a good quality and a good control. Also the speed and the quality of the incoming ball is very important if you for example play a driven pass and then try to play the next pass first touch it might be that the outcome will be very poor because it's harder to actually deal with a higher tempo ball and also if the ball is bouncing after a lob pass maybe or something like that and the control is not really there then it's also harder to play one touch and mistakes can easily happen. So keep these factors in mind when trying to play one touch because if you go for two crazy angles and try to play every pass suddenly with the first touch then you will make a lot of mistakes and build up and it won't do you any good. Now let's take a look on how to utilize the one touch pass in your game and the first section is using space and open passing lanes more quickly in build up play and this might seem like a small thing but it can actually make a huge difference and improve your game by a lot. As you can see in this example I intercept the ball and afterwards I play a pass towards my right back and I see that Nainggolan in the middle is making a run forward and as you can see the opponent opponent is trying to cover that pass and if I now first receive the ball then this might give the opponent the time to cover up the pass towards Nainggolan and then I'm stuck with my right back don't have any open passing options available and my whole attack will be slowed down by a lot so I decide to play a through pass into the open space in front of Nainggolan first touch the angle is still okay because my right back can play the pass with a slight turn to the left and since I played as a through ball Nainggolan can utilize his tempo and the little space in front of him to really get my attack going and to get some tempo in it and then I forward the ball to Nedved and with him I 
play a one-touch pass back to Pogba, which is a spot that I will get back to in a second. And then you could even argue that I should play a one-touch triangle pass from Pogba towards my left back in order to use all the space that's open in front of him, because as you can see in this screen, most of the opponent's players are in my upper half of the pitch so that's why I have a lot of space on the left wing and then I take one or two touches with Pogba play the pass towards my left back and then I can play a through ball towards Mbappe and I have a very dangerous counter attack and all of this would probably not have been possible if I didn't play the first one touch pass towards Nainggolan in order to quickly get my attack going and not give the opponent a chance after losing the ball to quickly cover up all the different options and force me into a slow build-up without really having options to go forward quickly. So it's not only about playing passes before the opponent can cover them, but also about using space as quickly as possible because that's what football is about, to not give your opponent time to cover all your options, but to see open space and use it, play the pass there as quickly as you can and this will increase the quality of your attacks by a mile. Next up we have avoiding pressure on the ball holder and we all know these opponents in FIFA who defend so aggressively and always go for the challenges and somehow find success, get your player off the ball and even with using protecting the ball, safe and precision dribbling techniques, it can get quite hard to not lose the ball when dribbling. So in order to avoid getting challenged at all, you can play one touch passes to quickly forward the ball to another teammate before the opponent gets a chance to go for a tackling or bounce the ball back to your teammate for the same reasons. In this example you can see that I play a pass towards Nine Golan and the opponent is anticipating it very well and defending towards it. He doesn't intercept the pass in the first place but he is very close when I am just about to receive the ball and that's why I know if I try to receive the ball here first before continuing my attack and playing the next pass. I will get challenged and I have a high chance of losing this ball because it's very hard for Nangolan to receive the ball and protect it from Neymar at the same time. It's easy to put him off balance when I try to turn during the ball acceptance in order to get my body in between the ball and the opponent and a challenge would have a very high chance for success. And that's why I decide to skip the ball acceptance and go for a first touch pass back towards Pogba in order to avoid this challenge completely. And as you can see it works out, Nangolan is playing the pass and I don't have any troubles while trying to hold on to the ball somehow and with Pogba I have a lot of open space and can continue my attack. Here we have another example, I play a pass towards Mbappe and as you can see the opponent is selecting his left back and approaching me very aggressively and it can be very unpleasant to play against players like these but you can avoid their challenges by just letting the ball bounce back. As you can see I play the one touch pass combined with a 1-2 pass that we also have a tutorial video on, you can go and check that out right now and so I hold down L1 while making the input for the pass and so I let the ball bounce back towards Valencia and at the same time initiate a run by Mbappe and if the situation would be better for it then I would follow it up with a through ball towards my right winger in order to avoid the pressure that the opponent is trying to put on me and maybe even counter it by initiating runs and getting players in behind the defenders that he's pulling out. Here we have another example that shows a very nice combination that unfortunately doesn't quite work out in the end. The opponent is again approaching me aggressively with his left back and to avoid that completely I just play a one touch pass towards Nedved in the middle with Neymar and then with Nedved I see that Nangolan is making a run forward so with him I play a one touch triangle pass into the open space and since I initiated a run with Neymar as as well when I played the one touch pass with him I have his run forward and I try to go for a first touch through ball on the right wing unfortunately as you can see here the quality is just slightly off because it was a very difficult pass to play for my CDM and that's why the opponent is still able to cover up 
on the left side and I can't quite create a chance from this combination. And last but not least, one-touch passes are crucial in order to create chances by passing combinations in offense because they just increase the speed of your attacks rapidly and they give your opponent significantly less time to react, to switch players correctly, to cover up passing lanes, open players near and inside the box. And as you can see in this example here, if you see open players or if you're trying to do some sort of passing combination, then don't waste any time by first accepting the ball. Just play the passes one touch, experiment how far you can go with it. In this example right here, I play a pass towards Nangolan and I see that on the left side inside the box, Mbappé is in a very free position. So I play a one touch pass towards him. Then I use the bouncing back technique, this time in off play the pass back towards Nangolan and I see that Nedved is coming short and I don't first receive the ball I play another one touch pass and if you watch the player that the opponent has selected here he switched towards his right back when I had the ball with Mbappé but then I played two more passes in such a quick succession because they were one touch that the opponent didn't even switch his player I mean he of course reacted far too slow but you will see more of these mistakes for sure especially against players who tend to always defend with the same player this technique is very helpful as well here you can see an example for that and I just have way too much space with netwet that I got from these three one-touch passes and so I can finish with a low driven shot that by the way we also have a tutorial on if you want to go and check that out link is in the top right corner we will have a follow-up video which will be released very shortly on how to combine one two and one touch passes together in order to really get some passing combination attacking power in your game and break opponents deadlocks in defense so stay tuned for that and there I will go much more into detail about these kinds of passing combinations around the opponent's box. To sum it up, the one touch pass is a great way in order to get more tempo into your attack and give the opponent less time to cover up the good options that you have in build up play and offense, but at the same time you have to be careful that you don't overdo it and lose easy balls because not every pass can be played with the first touch. Sometimes you have to receive the ball, get some ball control again and then look for other options. So it's a slim line and in order to master this it will take some practice but once you found a middle ground between getting the ball forward safely and then exploding with dangerous and quick passing combinations your passing game will be on a whole nother level that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it and learned something if that's the case please give the video a thumbs up because that will help out the video and the channel massively it's much appreciated guys and also if you're interested in the private coaching as mentioned check out our website down in the description below and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any further video of the guide. I'll better talk to you in the next one. See you then. Much love. Peace.